Okay, you guys, I've read the comments, and frankly, I'm a little hurt, but I understand. Searson's cuter than I am. He's got charisma. He's, I mean, I, I get it. So, in an effort to keep you guys going and to win you back, I'm willing to try just about anything. So, bottoms up. Yuck. In just a second, we're going to take a look at our first box of Eagle Moss figures, so stick around. Hey there everyone, my name's Perry. And my name's Sarson, and welcome, welcome to The, the Potter, Potter Addict. Addict. Well, as you can see, my friend in the UK has has done an amazing job of tracking down the uh, Eagle Moss line of figures for Harry Potter. And I am only waiting on one more box. So there's a total of seven um, in all that, um, that he tracked down to get me the entire collection. The entire collection, you guys. And I'm not going to tell you that, um, that it was... Um, it, was, it wasn't something I was looking forward to doing because, again, I've told you that some of these figures are good and some of them are not. And it honestly depends on where you get them from because I ordered a Severus Snape from uh, HMV in the UK and it arrived at my friend's uh, home and he told me that it looked like it was painted by a child and looked like it might have been um, melted slightly. So, I mean, so that one went back, but he, through his source, found me one that's in great shape. I, again, have not seen any of these, so I don't know what great shape looks like, but um, we'll figure that out together. So Sigerson's here today with me, and I'm going to let him pick which box he wants to start off with. So we've got seven. Oh, you want to go with the one that's just right there by you? I so. <laughs> Okay, okay, all right. So we're going to go with that box, and let me clear us a hole here so that we can have room to spread out a little bit. I'm in the box family now. Box family. I'm in a box. Okay. And oh, let's tear into this thing because it has been taped up pretty heavily. Uh, let's see, where is our path to get inside this box? It looks like right here is going to be my spot. Dive into here. So now, onto this line, guys. I again, I have done some research on these and honestly it is it's a it's a hit or miss product it really is and i've actually come across um quite a few hit or miss products of lately um the eagle moss line which you guys have probably seen that video i mean it was a very recent video that i put out um i mean it really depends where you're getting things from sometimes um, who the manufacturer was, I mean, just because it says it was Eagle Moss doesn't mean that it came from the same facility that manufactured them or, or um, distributor. So um, it's really kind of critical that you um, that you got somebody who can see these things firsthand before you actually start diving into them. So, and thankfully, um, my, my friend was, uh, was boots on the ground. Um, able to go and see these things firsthand before committing to any of them. And I absolutely love that because I know that I'm going to get the best of what was available. So, so now, now that we're in here, oh, okay, let's see. And I'm looking at, oh, okay, we got some good ones in here. Some good ones. Okay. So, absolutely. Here, I'll flip it this way. I'm saving the best can, for last. And you so can they... pick which one you want to start off with. Start off with. You want to start? Nagini. Oh, okay, okay. Nagini it is. So now this particular box, again, I don't know what's in each one of these boxes. It's a it's honestly a big mystery to me. This box has one, two, three, four, five, six, six figures in it. So we're gonna take a look at six figures today. And he wanted to start off with Nagini, which is a fantastic looking one. This one is really good looking. Try and slide that off to the side there. Yeah, and I am very, very interested to, to see this one firsthand. 
This box looks like it was opened. It doesn't have any of the, the tape on the top. So, this one out. This one's a cool one. Oh, yeah. Tattoo oh, there's collection. no tape on the inside that's been adhered to it either. Get that out. This one's, this one's my favorite one. That, that, that you've seen so far. I mean, there's a lot of these, though, guys. There's a ton that, that they have out there. Have I want to say frog? there's a forty there's forty seven in total. Do they have so a frog? they do not have a chocolate frog. I know, I know it's heart heartbreaking, right? Oh. So let's take a look at Nagini. So Nagini is absolutely great. I love that they they put her on like this, like the like a piece of Hogwarts castle. It's like a cutout of the castle. And she's coiled around. Uh, looking like she's ready to strike. I think they did a really good job on her. She is, I mean, her scales look good. Her, um, you know, all the, the different details that they put in her markings. I mean, I think this is a really good one. What do you, what do you think? Do you like, do you like, like the, how they did it? I like their, his, their, her face. Yeah, her face. Yeah, I mean, is she, she looks really good. I think, I, again, I told you before in a previous video that I think that Eagle Moss is kind of 70-30, right? They 70% seven, of the ones they put out, they did a really good job on 30%. I could do without if I wasn't a completionist. But this particular one definitely falls in the 70 in the 70 range. So that is one down. Oh, make sure she stays on camera so we can see her the whole time. And who do you want to go with next? I'm going to pick the mystery one. Wait, the mystery? Oh, that you can't see? I know who this is, though. This is Fred Weasley. So, and this one's oh, tape dad? is broken, too. So, I don't know if these were inspected. I don't know um, how, how that works, because normally they're taped shut. And then one of the things I, I honestly don't like about these when you go to open them is that they're taped on every side. So, I mean, but these are, these have all been broken. The tape's broken. So, I mean, but again, none of that matters to me. I just care about the condition of the figures and, uh, and whether or not I've got a, a box that I could package them up in if I ever had to move. Cause I think we all know that I'm not going anywhere anytime soon. Cause could you imagine packing all of this up? I mean, guys, no, no. My wife made a comment about something and I'm thinking to myself, if we were ever to move, I'd have to keep this house because <laughs> I have got to keep a place for my collection and I do not want to move any of this stuff. So, um, so without further ado, let's take a look at Fred Weasley. Fred Weasley, this version that they went with is amazing because this is the, the um, Wizarding Wheezes um, version of Fred. You know, you could see him standing off to the side, hands in his pockets, you know, surveying his empire, you know, as people are going through and picking out the different uh, treats and, and pranks and everything that they have available. I love the, the you know, the older expression on his face, the, the, the hair that's cut. Him. I love the pinstripe suit. I mean, he looks absolutely fantastic. And I love how he's kind of like leaning to, to the one side. So another another one for the 70 column, guys, because the, the paint job on this one is immaculate. I mean, the details, his eyes, everything on this one is spot on fantastic. So that is a definite, what? definitely a good one. You know what my favorite is though? Yeah, Nagini, Nagini, I, I get it. So where do you want to go next? You want to go with Neville. Neville Longbottom, guys. Now, Neville's one of those ones that I have seen. Oh, and this one's taped. Neville's one of those ones that I've seen both good and bad versions of. And I'm hoping that we've got a good version here because, again, um, you just never know. You never know what you're going to get. But if the outside is taped, more than likely it means my insides are going to be taped. Yep. So this one's never been open, never seen the light of day here. Let's grab it with this. It has seen the light of day. Well, yeah, it's, a, it's like a saying, right? I mean, it means basically he's never been out of the package. So he's, ever since he was created, he's been sitting in this poor little package. And now we're going to set him free. Oh, and he's got a little twisty tie on the back. A metal one. Little twisty tie. Can I look at him first? Absolutely, you can look at him. Let me get him out of here and then we will take a look at him together. Um, I like the sword. It looks like it's kind of broken, though. 
No, uh -uh. no, it doesn't. It looks fantastic. When, when you uh, got it, guys, I'm gonna let you know. We got lucky. We uh, we definitely lucked out. This is a good Neville. Um, he is uh, really good in his detail. Paint job looks fantastic. So without talking about Neville any further, let's just dive right in. So Neville Longbottom. I absolutely love this figure. I love the, the the cardigan sweater that he has on with his shirt underneath. I love the, the blood coming down his face as he's swinging the, the sword of Gryffindor. I absolutely love this. I mean, this is classic, you know, Battle at Hogwarts right here. And I think they did a phenomenal job on this one. I mean, look, it's the thing that I like about these when they did them right is there's no bleed over. So see, like his hair stops and it doesn't go onto the collar. The eyes have the actual pupils, so they're just great detail. I mean, this paint job is spot on, guys. Spot on. They are three for three today. Because these one. these are, are all three fantastic. Still this one. Okay, okay. Um, who's next? Who are we going with next? La, 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 cha, cha, Hermione. Oh, Hermione, okay. And this is... Uh, the uh, now this one's definitely been open. Oh no, maybe not. Did they open this end? No, she's upside down in her box though. It's been taped. It doesn't look like it's ever been opened, but she's actually upside down in her in her packaging. So <laughs> that's pretty funny. All right, so let's open up this one here. Oh, daddy, there's from there's. Stuff. Yeah, they got the Fantastic Beast line too. And what is this thing? That's a Dementor. We've got that one. It's over oh, there on the shelf. It looks like a tiny one. Let's get this one out. Yeah, dementors? she's never she's never been opened either. So so odd that she got packaged upside down. We do not have any nifflers. Do you know why we don't have any nifflers? Oh. Because they didn't come around. Now they're in the books, right? They're in the Harry Potter books. They talk about them in the books, and I don't know if they actually make an appearance because I haven't gotten to a part in the books where they talk about them but they don't appear in anything except the Fantastic Beast movies. So that's why I don't have any nipplers in my collection because I don't collect Fantastic Beasts. I just do Harry Potter. Hey, hey, Daddy. So, Daddy, yeah. remember that cute little thing on your phone where it looked like an, it was a nippler and it talked? Yes, uh-huh. I want that Yeah, one. that was cute, I know. All right, let's put that in here and let's take a look. You wanna look at her real quick before we do the old close-up? She looks good, doesn't she? They did a good job. Was this one, in, was this when she was like a palm and she... They went through in the Yule Ball. This yeah. is the Yule Ball. All right, so let's take a look at Hermione Granger. Now, as far as the details on this one go, I absolutely love it. They did a fantastic job. The paint is spot on. Everything about this one is so good. Her hair, the ruffles of her dress, I mean, I think this one is amazing. The only issue, the only issue I have on this one is I feel like the shape of her head is off. It kind of doesn't look like Hermione. It's, um, I mean, it's hard to explain, but I feel like if you put your thumbs around the head and cut off everything else, it almost looks like a guy. It, I mean, an effeminate guy, but a guy. I mean, am I wrong? Do you see it? <laughs> yes. Do you see it? So <laughs> I'm going to do something a little out of the norm. I'm going to, I'll share that, that visual with you guys in a close-up so that you can see. It's just, it's just off slightly. It's a fantastic figure. I mean, I knew where, where they're going. I mean, obviously, is this is a, a quintessential, I mean, uh, Hermione moment. You know, I mean, where you get to see her looking, you know, all done up and fantastic. And, you know, it's like, this is a great moment. But this face is just a little off. But I still put this in the 70% category because it is very, very well done. Hey, Dad. Yes. What I don't get, because look at her face. It doesn't look like her face. Yeah, it's off. And I know, that's, that's the problem. It, it, the face is just a little off. But again not a bad figure it is a very well painted well detailed figure i wonder what this one is but i'm gonna pick that one because you're gonna pick this one it, i'm gonna save the best for last okay saving the best for last all right this one has been open so this one is george weasley and 
it's gonna be oh yeah yeah he's a good one too oh, he, looks, he looks really they're, good they're basically the same thing well yes but they're twins you know they're twins i mean they oh, it kind they, of looks different because oh he def definitely looks different so they they always give a slight variation um some some brands give more variation than others Wait, so his head is more circled than his. Yeah, but look, he's got his hands are in his pockets, his hands are folded, and, and he's standing shoes. straight up and down. Yeah, yeah, oh yeah. Let's take a look at George Weasley. So I love, again, the older George Weasley um, basically standing, I mean, you can see him standing side by side with his brother as they, as they look around their store. Um, Searson pointed out they gave him a different, uh, different shoes but everything else is is spot on. I mean, the suits, the the vest underneath, the ties, the hairstyle, um, it is fantastic and very very well done. I I will never be able to thank my UK friend enough because, again, like I told you, these are these are tough to come by. I mean, guys, most of the time when you look for these online. I would say low end, you're looking at $15, $15. Um, and, and then that doesn't even include the shipping, right? And on the high end, you're looking anywhere from, from 30 to, I've seen them as ridiculous as $60, um, depending on the figure. Like uh, Dolores Umbridge, um, some of the more rare ones, Tonks. Um, I mean, so crazy prices. And I mean, there are a few places that are out there that stumble across these and give you a, a deal randomly. But if you're looking on Mercari or eBay mm -hmm. and you're looking at ones that have the box and everything else and they're in good condition, you're gonna pay up. My friend got me these for half of the good price. Phenomenal deal, phenomenal. I mean, literally I will, again, never be able to say thank you enough for the deal that he got me because again, I mean, getting getting these wait, 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 can I is not an easy task. And he made it extremely easy and stream, extremely affordable. So Dad. thank you again. Get yeah, that look on his face. <laughs> uh, so this is the Quidditch Harry and, uh, and Draco Malfoy. And the look on Draco's face is absolutely priceless on that box. So it, yeah, um, hold on one second. We're gonna open this up. And I let's see, where does this one open? Boy, this is a little tricky. Uh, I think maybe here, yep, right here. This is where we're gonna open. We're gonna open it right by Draco's ugly face here. That face <laughs> that he's making. That is one ugly face that he's making. All I, right. I still think this one, uh, this one's the best. Let's see, we'll yank these out, and we got a nice little booklet in there. And then let's see, oh, nope, this one's never been opened, so we've got tape everywhere, just what? like they always what? do. Was um was the in outside um nope. yeah it was taped absolutely yeah tape was intact on the outside of this box so there's that and so your favorite is still Nagini but you know I mean think about the fact that we've got a minimum of four figures in one of those boxes in every single one of those boxes so we've got five? What's that? Five, one, two, three, four. No, we've got a minimum of four. Some of those boxes are a little smaller. So we've got a minimum of four characters in each of those boxes. Uh, I've got seven boxes total to, to still open up. Oh, this one's just being difficult. And, um, and so there's quite a few left for us to take a look at. Um, you could definitely change your mind. I mean, there might be something that you, that you see. These, why is this box so difficult to open? It does not. Boy, that one did not want to come apart. So let's see. And then we've got, here's Harry. So looking, these these have, go ahead, what were you going to say? When you were looking at one, can I look at the other? Of course. Yeah, of course. So there's Harry. And we will pick him up at the base because if you pick him up at the finger, he's just going to fall out. And then here is Draco. Uh, uh, does he have an ugly face this time? No. He looks like a kid. I'm going to set these down. We'll put these away here. So, got two more figures to 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 get you some close-ups on, and then quite a few more yeah, to, to unbox and review. So, we're gonna come back and do these in weeks to come because, again, I, I try not to do too many at one time because I feel like it it 
you lose interest. You start to you know to want to fast forward. You want to you know, want to skip ahead. You don't want to sit through all my yammerings and his yammerings. So what were you gonna say? I'm sorry. His finger. See it? Look at his finger. It's broken. Oh yeah, we are. We're missing a finger, aren't we? We sure are. I wonder if that was in the box. I might have to go back and look. I'll be doggone. Boy, you got. I would not have caught that. You're, yeah, the, the detail that you just caught on that one is is crazy, but uh, I'm going to have to go back and look in the box. I doubt I'll be able to find it because that's so stinking tiny, but his finger, we'll take a look. His finger fell off. Yeah, so let's take a look at, we'll start off with Draco Malfoy. So this Draco Malfoy, I think, is, is well done. They did a good job. I feel like um, they, I mean, they've got him on his, his Nimbus 2001 you know, wearing his Slytherin Quidditch uh, outfit. Um, he's got his gloves on, reaching for that, that golden snitch that he's chasing, you know, with, uh, with Harry. Um, but um, it is slightly disappointing. But again, it's only because I know it. I would have overlooked it completely if he hadn't seen it. But we are definitely missing a small little finger that's coming out of the glove there. So I will... I will look for that. I will try and see if, if maybe it's still in the box because, I mean, at the end of the day, it's a really tiny piece. I do not know if if it came off in the box, if it got packaged like that. Um, it's just something I think, actually, I think I do see it. It might be in there. It might be in there. It's right up in there, I think. We'll, we'll open it up and take a look uh, off camera. So, and then, absolutely here, I'll slide that one over to you and let's take a look at Harry Potter. So Harry is fantastic uh, and completely intact. He's uh, reaching out with the snitch in hand as he's, you know, riding his, his Nimbus 2000 chasing, um, you know, I mean, just fantastic. The paint job on this one is very well done. I'm just looking at his neck and his hair. There is no bleed over. They've got the scar on his forehead, the little tiny glasses. I do not even know how they do these glasses on him. They're so small. Like, I mean, they're really small. But, and, and, well, you see how the, tiny they are? Where's the cut, though? It's, it's right above his, it's oh, right there in the gap of his hair. Oh, yeah, I know. It's, it's a light one. It's a light one. But, guys, very, very well done. I mean, this this day for for quality of figures, 100%. I mean, we got the good ones. We absolutely did. All of these are very well done. Fantastic additions to my collection. Super excited to add these. Now it's just a matter of figuring out where each one of them is going to go. So um, what I plan on doing is I plan on unboxing you know uh, one box at a time we'll do a video for each one of them and then at the end we'll do a complete um, overhaul of, of all of them so we'll just say here is the entire collection and I'll have it all on display for you on the on the table here and let you get a peek at what the entire collection for the Harry Potter line looks like together uh, I'm very excited to actually do that part because it's a it's a really good looking collection when you see them all staged together. So, um, but the gamey's in the middle. The gamey's in the middle. Us. That's all that I have for you today. Do you have anything you want to add? Um. Yes. What? Can we turn you into a statue? Like you know how in movies, um, there's a snake girl and they turn you into statue. Oh, Medusa, mm -hmm. you're going to freeze me and turn me into a statue. Mm -hmm. I just don't know, guys. I told you. I mean, I'll keep bringing him back as long as you want him here, but I mean, I I will not give up control though. I will not. <laughs> Somebody made a comment the other day, just give it over. Just give it over to him. This is my channel. This is my channel. This is my joy. This is my passion. I bring him along cuz I want him to eventually be a bigger part, be more involved, but School is starting. School is starting up, which is going to make things a little bit trickier. Um, he is going to miss a few videos here and there. Uh, I definitely have uh, one uh, couple that are coming up that I'm going to have to do without him. But there is, I do have a little surprise Funko haul um, that is coming. Uh, that's coming. It's supposed to be delivered today, in fact. And there's a surprise in there. And we won't go into any more detail than that, but I've got some good stuff coming from Funko, you guys. So okay. look for that video coming up. Um, yeah. 
So, and how, how much days in school until we're going to Universal? It, it is, well, so, it, you, I mean, today is the, is the 16th. We leave on the, um, on the 24th. So eight days. You've got eight days until we leave. Oh. Oh, I know. I'm just, it's, I'm so excited too. Oh, but guys, if you've made it to this point in this video and you haven't yet, please do me a favor and click that subscribe button. Click that bell notification. Give us both a thumbs up. And please do not forget to check us out on Instagram. All right. Oh, and TikTok. I always want to forget TikTok. But um, that is all that I have for you today. I thank you so much. Yes, I've given it up. I have. I'm not even going to try because he's just going to steal it from me anyways. But thank you so much for joining us for another magical moment. And until next time. All you wizards and muggles alike, keep it magical. Keep it magical, guys.